Hi Collective, welcome to the channel. I'm Crystal, a divine psychic medium, delivering messages to you from the higher realms. So welcome everyone. So this is going to be like a high definition love reading. I don't know why I just felt to say that, but I did. Okay, so hmm. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what's going on with this energy. Don't mind my loud kids that you hear, right? Okay. It's summer. And now one of my children is like ordered to stay home. He can't go nowhere. So <laughs> he's my loud one too. Normally I do my content when he's not. So the way I'm going to go with it, <laughs> we're going to see here. All right. What is going on? Ten of Wands jumping out right away with Seven of Swords. Okay. Somebody has been carrying some heavy secrets. Some heavy deception. And they aren't going to be carrying it for much longer. Maybe this is you. Take it however you feel fitting. Maybe this is you holding on to some secrets. Or, mm, you've been tricking yourself out of something, right? Maybe telling yourself that things are all right, everything's going to be fine. Maybe you've been hiding something. There's a king of pentacles that jumped out here. Ooh. And there's a two of pentacles. So, there's a decision that needs to be made here. Yeah, there's a third party. Okay. <laughs> so three of cups here there's a third party um i don't know if this is something that was acted on yet yeah there's a secret here something Ooh. okay then oh yep nine of cups to the two of cups here there's a love offer that may have already came in that's been hidden that somebody needs to make a decision on Okay, or there's a love offer that's going to be coming in that's hidden from you at the moment that's going to now put you into a third party and you're going to need to make a decision. Wow. But this is this this is here. Can I see this? So if this was a secret, I'm revealing a secret to you. <laughs> there's a love offer that is hidden. If you didn't know, but it's going to put you in this. It's like you could be happily uh, I don't know why I heard you. okay you could be in a relationship right maybe it's not happily with the ten of wands you could be in a relationship right I feel you're unaware I'm just I'm just gonna read it this way because it's getting confusing to try to sometimes I can read three different storylines and, and go from there and build off of it and constantly give each angle of each story and sometimes I can so I'm just gonna run with this one right so Feel free to move it around however you feel it fitting. Okay, so let's get back to this. So you're in a relationship or you're in some sort of situation that's very burdensome, very heavy, okay? You're kind of telling yourself, like, I got this. This is how it is. Like, this is my only option. Maybe there's some sort of codependency or whatever reason. All of a sudden, something's going to come in. This has to do with this Gemini new moon. And I do believe the alignments of the stars that we had just the other night. It's the alignment of like Venus, the moon, um, some other planets. There, there, there was a rare alignment. I talked about it in my reading earlier. Anyway, I feel this triggered somebody. Something's coming in. A hidden love offer is going to come in. So someone's basically going to come in and express their offer of love. And now it's going to put you in this two of pentacles. You're going to be like, what? So maybe this is somebody you know. Maybe it's somebody you don't know. Because I'm getting, it's very secret. For some of you, it could be like a secret admirer or something like that. Like something's going to happen, right? Or someone's going to come in. And it's going to bring you out of this five of pentacles to this ten of pentacles. Oh my god. It's it's part of your destiny with Will Fortune. Like this is like your next leveling up. And I think you're going to know that when it comes in. So I don't feel it's going to be something where... You're just going to dismiss it like, no, 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 like I'm already in something. No, it's coming on this. So you're just going to be like, what? Like, you're just going to know, wow, this is like my higher timeline. Like, this is part 
I mean, literally, like, I feel you're in this five of pentacles energy. And what's, bring, what's coming in is, like, a ten of pentacles. So it's like you're going to know it's in alignment with your legacy, your dreams, your desires. It's in alignment with like your destiny timeline. For some of you, it could be somebody wealthy or a wealthy opportunity or something like that where you're you're not going to be able to turn it down because you're going to be like, well, this is going to take me out of this energy and it's going to put me in this energy. So it's definitely something you're going to be thinking about. Right? Um, yeah, it's... <laughs> Page of Cups is here. Mm. With the Six of Cups. To the Four of Cups. Wow. Okay. So this could have been a missed opportunity before. Or one of those, like, timing wasn't in order. Um, or this is how somebody's going to feel. Because either way, someone's got to be turned down. Right? Um, this page of cups is social invitation, love, warmth, attraction, the exchange of emotions, gentle emotion, friendliness, the depth of an important message. So someone's definitely coming in with something to say. And with the six of cups, this could be somebody from your past in this life, or it could be a past life lover. For some of you, those are like other contracts that you have. I feel that there, it's time for a new contract. Yeah, Hermit to the Tower. Wow. That's interesting. You could get this. Um, you're going to get something when you, when you spend some time alone. It's like Source is going to know. Divine is going to know when to offer this to you. Like, they're basically going to give the person, like, the go-ahead when it's time to come in. Because they, they want you in this energy to think about it. It's all about divine timing. Like, things are going to play out, like, so perfectly. Like, it's just, it's going to be one of these things. You're definitely being called to... Spend, I would think about this offer. I don't think it'd be one where you, I, to dismiss it quickly because it's part of your destiny. There's pages all over this reading. See, page of cups, page of wands, youthful energy here. There could be children involved. The pages. And it's that newness. Yeah, look, there's. this could definitely be somebody in the public eye with money. Or some sort of like lucrative offer because they're showing me the ten of pentacles again with the six of wands this is somebody that's very successful or some of you this is like a successful I don't know why I heard predominantly um, but there's like a successful offer coming in and it's gonna it's going to cause an ending here, a <laughs> transformation. Um, what's interesting about this um, death card is you see, it's, um, it's like divine is ushering something in. Because you see his hand, he's calling something in. But there's a person underneath the horse, see? So it's like, Is it going to zoom? But you can look up the standard rider weight. But there's somebody under that horse. It's like when this person shows up, they're trampling over. And you see the crown knocked off. Oh, he's laying the other way. It's interesting, he has red shoes. I associate red shoes with evil and the elite and the red leather shoes. So this could have been somebody that was not very good for you. And divine is um, sending in reinforcements. Something is trumping this person, this offer. Whatever this is, like, yeah, they're coming in. Okay. I 
think you're going to know that the angels brought this in with temperance. That's my angel card. There's a knight of wands energy here. This could happen fast, quickly, or you could have been dealing with the knight of wands energy. That could be who's getting trumped here. Someone that wasn't worthy of wearing a crown. Because I've been getting energy for a minute of like a character that goes from Nine of Wands to King of Wands back and forth playing around in that energy. So all the times he's in the King of Wands he deserves to get that crown knocked off. It could be a collaboration. It could be... Um, this could be something... Or it's just showing me the third party again. There's the Nine of Cups again. Hmm. And the Page of Swords again. See, somebody is planning their their love offer. They're planning how to come in and present this to you. This is someone that's been watching you. So this isn't like a chance encounter. Like with someone you don't know. Like this person knows who you are. Okay. Hmm. Wow. Five of Cups reversed over here. Hope, opportunity, rekindle, and old love. Maybe they wanted me to read that. Maybe you had some sort of falling out before. Restore an old relationship is on this card. So for some of you, this is somebody from your past. Judgment and justice. Divine is bringing you this. It's meant for you to have this. Yeah, Nine of Cups. Or somebody, they got their plea, they got their wish granted that they wanted. They wanted to be able to come in and offer love to you. That's why this person feels so strong because um, I feel they had you before. And it's like, they don't want to let you go. They know that they have to come and express their love one more time. You know, it's not saying you have to do that. Just because somebody comes in. But clearly you have a choice. Lovers with Eight of Swords. You're in some sort of trapped or stuck situation. Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. There's a passionate new beginning being offered to you. Wheel of Fortune, the Five of Pentacles. It's whatever this is, like this is meant for you to come out of this Five of Pentacles energy. Luck is on your side. The wheel is starting to spin for you. So that's what I mean. It, it's one of these things like it's meant for you to come out of this five of pentacles. Like something put you in this five of pentacles energy. Something took you off path, off course. And I feel there's a course correction. That's kind of what I feel like here. Three of swords, nine of pentacles. Third party energy. Sadness, emotional pain, lost love, difficulties in a relationship, misunderstanding, alienation. For some of you, karma needed to be cleared out of something. There's definitely competition here at the Five of Wands. Two of Cups. You, you just, you have a choice. You have a choice, dear. Right? That's what it's coming down to. You have a choice. Definitely. All right, I'm going to close out this ring. I feel like I could keep going around and around, but whatever it is, like, it's, um, it's for fairness. Six of Pentacles. It's to write the scales. For some of you, it's always meant for you to have this love offer to balance things out, but it's up to you to decide what to do. So that's what I have for you. Love and light to all of you. Bye.
है